Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and today I will be teaching you how to automate magma crucibles and fluid transposer combos using the mod Applied Energistics 2. Now, to actually build this thing, we will need three mods, and those mods are Thermal Expansion, Thermal Foundation, and Applied Energistics 2. So let's go over to the area I have set up for this, and let's start placing things down. The first off the first thing I want to do is place down some ME interfaces. Now I will be setting up six of these uh, contraptions, so I need six ME interfaces. The next thing I want to place down are the fluid transposers. At some point I do need to connect up the ME interfaces to my applied energistic system, but I will do that in just a second. So these fluid transposers are set up to be, uh, let's blank it out first, they will be both uh, accepting and uh, outputting from the left and then inputting only from the right and they are all are all set up to be like that already uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to set up my magma crucibles now I actually have one magma crucible that's set up for lava and then four of them set up for everything else so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna place uh, the first one that's set up for lava right here and it's set up for lava as we can see by this augment that I've already placed in it and then the other magma crucibles will go right here. All these magma crucibles are set up to accept items from the top and output them in the back. So what I want to do now is I want to set up export buses for all of these guys. And let's go ahead and hook everything up to my applied energistic system real fast. And I can do that by doing this right here. There we go. Everything should be hooked up to the system now. Actually, it will take it a minute because my system is so large. It just uh, takes things a minute to actually connect up. But what I want to do with these export buses, I want to set them up to export different things. This first one is for making lava. So naturally, I'm going to export cobblestone into the magma crucible. That will make lava. And I do want to throw in some acceleration cards to speed that up. This next one, I could use either Resonant Endstone or Ender Pearls, and I can do either. I'm going to go with Resonant Endstone because it actually gives more Resonant Ender, and I have a lot of this stuff. Ender Pearls I can actually use for some crafts. Now, as we can see, uh, this is actually starting to melt things down, so it is hooked up to the system. Um, at this point let's uh, do destabilized redstone next uh, if you don't want to use destabilized redstone or don't have any you can also use redstone for this one and let's throw more cards in there the next one is energized netherrack or glowstone either way it gives you uh, energized glowstone in the magma crucible and let's speed that up as well and then this last one will be used for jelly cryothium which you get by uh, mag putting uh, cryothium dust in a magma crucible. So let's do that real fast. I do need to throw in a crafting card and some acceleration cards. I'm doing the crafting card because I don't naturally have this stuff, but I can tell my ME system to make it by throwing in a crafting card into the export bus. And so as we can see, it is exporting cryothium dust into this. So the whole goal of the magma crucibles with export buses is to have these fluid transposers full of whatever fluid uh, at all times that they need. So each one has its own fluid. This first one right here will actually be for water. Water is really easy. I don't have to use a magma crucible at all. I'm using a dense infinite water source from nuclear craft. However, there are uh, lots of uh, ways you can get water into this fluid transposer. So that's kind of why I didn't list nuclear craft as one of the mods that you need for this automation because there are lots of ways to get water. So now the first one has water. The second one has lava and so on and so forth. They each have their own fluid. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take some buckets and we're going to set up the first automations. So all we have to do here is let's throw in a bucket in each one of these guys and that is going to be the first thing that we're going to automate for all of them. So I need to run back to my interface terminal or my pattern terminal rather to actually set these patterns up but the patterns are really really easy. If I type in bucket here I should see all my different buckets so the patterns are actually super simple to set up um, because in essence we will just be saying a bucket equals a bucket of water that's the first one a uh, bucket of lava because the bucket is the only thing that we need to input into the system uh, to actually get these additional buckets so what haven't i done yet i haven't done glowstone yet um, I've done lava i've done water uh, redstone and ender that's what I haven't done yet so let's get those set up and redstone there we go so 
let's go ahead and set these up and then I can tell the system to craft some of these so that you can actually see that it does work uh, it, we do have to put them in the correct uh, ME interface here so this one's water so we just put it in the pattern slot this one is lava I think this one is ender uh, this one is redstone this one is glowstone and then the last one is jelly cryothium so let's go ahead and tell this system to say make a bunch of lava uh, let's go ahead and make a hundred buckets of lava I totally don't need that but why not so as you can see there's buckets uh, in this fluid transposer right here lava does uh, lava creation is a little bit slower than some of the other things so that's why it's running a little bit slow but we have made several of them at this point and it will continue to craft the rest of them and lastly I want to show you how to automate a few more things that are actually super useful for the mod thermal expansion and one of those is the cryoth gel or uh, the flux duct and I can't remember what it's called the cryo stabilized flux duct and that is made pretty simply if we have the cryo stabilized flux duct empty the crafting one all we have to do is set up a oh I was I was having to wait for some of the stuff to craft up real fast sorry about that and if we set that up if we look at our interface terminal here we should see fluid transposers and we just have to stick this one in the one with the gel cryothium and if I tell them my system to craft some of this stuff so let's go ahead and do that let's say a hundred of it it should go ahead and start crafting that now as you can see it made the first one and it just made the second one and third one and there we go so that's working so anyways that has how you automate the magma crucible with the fluid transposer using the mod applied energistics 2 if you feel like you learned something today definitely feel free to drop a like down below if you enjoy watching automation type stuff in modern minecraft definitely consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already anyways signing off i am minecraft phenom08 and i will see you next time